Hello guys, today we're going to talk about an important topic in uh, assembly, especially Massim, using the Irvine. What we're going to do is um, today loops, loops and jumps. We have two instructions. Uh, the loop instruction. And the jump instruction and let's make them capital letters how we can use them and we're gonna do it in a, in a small array we are gonna do an example on a small array include Irvine 32 dot I and C and now I'll have the data my data section dot code main process exit main and process and end main so what are we gonna do here is we're gonna declare an array and we're gonna print it using a, a for loop then we'll do another where we can fill an array with some input so here let's say I'll say list and byte and I have one two three four and five We need the array size. Remember, we use the size, size one. Let's say we can't put size by itself. It's not going to take it because it's a directive. So I'll put what the dollar sign, which is the current location pointer, which will be pointing on the memory location after the five, after the five. So let's say that memory location. Let's say we start here with uh, seven, 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 seven. This will be seven 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 eight seven 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 nine seven seven eight zero seven seven eight one and the count location pointer will be at seven seven eight two. So the dollar sign will be let's say for example seven seven a2 and we said the list will be on 7777 so this should give me a 5 which is the size of my array and I need the size to so I can loop a counter remember we need in every loop in C++ or C we need an initial value where we're gonna start from uh, how many times we're gonna stop and how many times we're gonna loop and when to stop exit three things if you remember four I uh, integer I equals zero let's say I is less than five I plus plus this will look five times but in uh, an assembly we don't have that much flexibility like C plus plus here we're gonna use the EC X now we're gonna use this register which holds the uh, how many times you wanna loop so first thing we do we move to okay let's make it work so no we'll do another thing also a really good thing let's do move is it BL only we have CL let's try this thing CL I never tried it but let's try it now that's not gonna make a difference oh let's do CX and size 1 meaning the 5 
now what we can do is move zero extended zero extended what I mean is do the rest okay now let's move it to BX and I want to move zero extended ECX BX what does the command and I'm doing this just to show you we can do it in a much easier way where we can say CX equals size one and we can start but here I want to show you the move zero extended instruction where it adds because this is what this is one byte or two bytes BX is two bytes BL and BH and ECX is how many bytes four bytes so what it does it moves the five to the first two bytes of ECX and with the move zero extended it will move the it will uh, fill the other two bytes with zeros with zeros so I'll have zero 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 five if I had a bigger number it will take it in the second byte but I have four bytes in ECX and BX I have two bytes extended meaning extend the other the extra two bytes with zeros I have uh, we have uh, move sign extended depending on the last bit if it's a one or a zero if it's a one it will extend it all once if it's a zero it will, it will extend it all zeros and extending it to all ones makes sense when you're looking at the two's complement. So now, let's label our code as gate. This is labeling part of my code, <coughs> so I can look back to it. Gate is given a label, a name to a part of my code. You can name it whatever you want. And now I'll say move to let's say AL and I'm gonna move and I think we need to make AL equal zero EAX equal zero so it doesn't print but let's see what uh, happens now move AL I'm gonna move uh, the first element of list And here is now a good thing. What do we need now? If you want to loop on this, and let's say here loop to gaze. What happens is going to go to gaze, and let's see what the what this does. Let's save it and let's see what this prints so you can all see it so we can make changes to it later must proceed this directory it's given me a bunch of errors syntax error include okay it's a uh, spelling let's fix it include here Let's see now. Ran without any errors. Or 
I say build without any errors. Now we ran it. Did it print anything? Nope. Yeah. So let's do. All right, integer, and let's move. What? CX. Uh, let's move to AX. CX and call right. And let's comment this at the beginning and see what happens here. What do you think is going to happen now? I think it's going to print five ones. Do you agree with me? Look at the code. Is it going to print five ones? No. Why is that? But it's printing the same number. Why is that? Because I said here we should do move e a x and zero or we can do x or e a x e x and that's a better an alternative in timing the x or takes less clock cycles than uh, the move And we'll take some examples on that. So, don't know errors. It print five ones. One, two, three, four, five. How did it print four ones now? We said here, move sides to be X. And this, I want to take it up. But I'm sure I showed you how the move zero extended. I can say move. To CX the size of my array, which is five, I calculated it here. Then I'm moving to EAX. Why? Because I'm going to be printing with it. What happened in the first time? I'm printing AM uh, uh, with AH with EX. Yeah. Oh. The whole EAX. And I'm moving one to AL, and the rest there's data in AX. There's data in AX. Like if I, if we do call dumb register, this is really good. Do it all the time so you can see what's going on. I want to show you how this equals five. Let's save it. Tools build no errors and tools I just said uh, give me a call down register before I set EAX to zero this was the data in it so each time it's gonna just change AL which is just this first part and then it's gonna print all this when I do the call write integer so that's why I set it to zero that's why I set it to zero. That's a good thing. So now, and this prints five ones. So we took it with CX without doing the move zero uh, extended. Let's see now. Sorry about that. Not even my phone. That's good. <laughs> Now I don't need this. I just show you what printed there. We set EAX to zero, so we can print it here because call write integer is gonna print whatever is 
and the EAX. So I moved list one, one, two there. Now let's see what's happening to uh, CX. I should have put a new line for it, but that's okay. We're gonna see five, four, three, two, one, five, uh, five ones, and then we're gonna see five, four, three, two, or no. It's gonna print one, then it's gonna print five, then it's gonna print one, then it's gonna print, but okay. Let's show you just. One is what? Let's put it here. So what's happening here? I'm moving list to AL and then I'm printing it. I'm printing the one. Then I'm moving CX, which has what? The size one, which is five to AX. Then I'm printing whatever is in EAX. Then I'm looping back to gate. <coughs> Go back to the label where I labeled it. Move list, which is one and print it now it printed four for the cx then it printed three for the cx then two why did it do that and let's comment this and show you so you can be convinced it's only the cx i'm only printing the cx the loop counter And we're gonna see why that is happening. So now it's gonna print five, four. Remember in uh, in C, C plus plus when you did a for loop, similar thing. But here, what's the problem? What's different here? We did it initialize an increment and update. We didn't say minus minus or subtract one and we don't have an ending how did it know it's gonna end on zero we usually put what we usually say trying to print it let's say we usually say four integer i equals let's say five we had and i if if i was gonna do that output I is greater than zero <coughs> I minus minus if I needed to implement the previous output we'll do it this way print five four three two and one and so but we didn't have this and this in this code so where is it what do you think that could be where could be the condition to stop where to stop how did you know it stopped at one or zero let's say greater than zero and how did it decrement by one and here's what happens when you when we do a loop when we do a loop first thing it does cx equals the cx minus one or let's say decrement we have a decrement command the same as the increment command which add ones to CX but we want this is what a uh, loop does decrement CX then checks if CX greater than zero loop This is my kid is playing karate. Okay, I'm gonna put this condition below. If CX is greater than zero, 
loop again to k. This is what so the initial value we set it here and that's why cx is called counter loop. We have to we can't use bx for it. We have to use cx. We have to use cx or ecx. We can't use any other register for looping. Because it's gonna decrement cx. And check if cx is greater than zero. Loop again. Loop again. So what happened here? Printed five. Decrement four. Four is it greater than zero? Yes, loop again. Move four to ax. Print four. Decrement three. Three is greater than zero. Loop again. And it keeps going to one zero. So this is what ha what's happening and this is but now we have a problem it's printing one only one how can i print one two three i need to say print list list plus one list plus two list plus three so what we do is we can declare adi which is a uh, uh, destination index register we can set it as what well. move EDI as zero and what we can do is move it after I move it I can say increment edi to add one to it so it prints one two three so it goes list plus one list plus two and here what i can do is add <coughs> list and <coughs> This is now it's gonna add whatever is in the destination register to EDI. Let's see if If this works and it should work and I can say we don't want to print this now so I'm gonna take it out and I want to print it all in a separate call line feeds curves return line and your line call character return line feed and let's invalid use of register line 17 Let's do view line number. I think it's gonna be here. Okay. <laughs> so I need the offset. Can I add the offset? Well, my brain can't think. So I'm doing the EDI right. So I'm gonna say list. Plus zero dereferencing this my but it's not gonna make a difference let's check
Why is it doing that? <coughs> okay, what do I need to do? Um, now what I need to move is the offset to EDI and then increment OK. Move. No, I want EDI to zero. I say move to EDI. Offset to uh, what was it? List. List, yeah. So that's the address. And then what I do is move whatever is an address EDI so it's gonna be this to AL call right integer increment EDI by one call and okay Let's see if this works. Awesome, no problem. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And let's explain here what we did. We moved the size, and I'm going to show you in the next lecture another way to do it using uh, some directives length of, size of, and type. Uh, we're moving the size of this array using the dollar sign and current location pointer. Then I'm setting EAX to zero because I'm going to moving be moving the elements to it. I'm moving what to EDI uh, extended uh, destination index. That's a register. I'm moving to it the address of what list whatever. Let's say seven seven seven. Here, I'm dereferencing this. I'm saying print whatever is in that address, 77, seven, or not print, move whatever is in that address, EDI, which I have one in, move it to AL, print one, increment EDI, increment, remember, an instruction that adds but one, same as saying um, add EDI one. <laughs> and same thing and now I'm printing a new line and I'm doing uh, so print one go back increment EDI going to seven 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 eight bring the two move it to AL print it and so on and so on now we want to do something I want to change something what if I had here a word what do I need to change? A word is two bytes. This means, does this change? Yeah, we have to divide by two. Why? Size is going to be size in bytes. And I want how many elements? Divided by two, which is a word, two bytes. That was a byte. And here, I can't use what increment because it increments. I have to use add two. There's two bytes. But each element takes two bytes. So let's say this one was on seven 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 seven. It's gonna take also eight. Two will be on seven 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 nine. That's why I added two. Go to seven 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 nine. Then go to seven seven eight one. Go to seven seven eight three. Go to seven seven eight five, and so on. So let's see this. Hold on. No. It wants me to buy it. I'm not gonna buy it. Hopefully, guys, it doesn't quit on me. Here's one, two, three, four, five. 
one, two, three, four, five. If you want, I know I promised uh, this is a tournament, but nobody except John uh, emailed me. I should have made him the winner and give him the money anyway. Uh, I can buy it instead of the tournament, but still a programming tournament, remember. But I still, I, I'm believing in you guys. Let's do a programming tournament. The price is on me. I'll ask. I'll t I'll call with the department and check what we can do. Did it do it? I forgot. I was talking about the tournament. Yes, it did it. Yeah, we did it. See, if it was four, if it's a D word, we divide by four and we add four to EDI. We add four to EDI please guys practice this it's not hard try it you're gonna think it's hard at the beginning don't feel frustrated try it once twice three times don't worry about it if you have any questions if you want more examples just leave a comment email me whatever you want guys Please, you have to learn it. Assembly is really, really important. Makes your programming life easier. Don't think it's hard. Don't think it's hard. Remember what I tell you in C++? Last semester, um, I had a student that wanted to quit, uh, to change major and drop C++ class uh, two weeks in the semester. And I told her, I don't think that's a good idea. This is a new language. And she was international. The problem with international students, they're trying to learn English plus the C++. So now they're learning two languages. I told her, no, stay. Just uh, just attend the labs. You know, the first two weeks we don't have labs. So I told her to attend the labs. She was the best. And I think she was the best. Uh, Number one, last semester. She did all the programs. I gave about a hundred programs. Never did it in my life before. And I don't think any other professor will give a hundred programs. She did them all with the extras. So, uh, don't give up. Just try. She tried. She came to the lab. She attended. I think the most important thing is sometimes you need guidance. You have an error, one error that you can't fix that will cost you a day or two to fix. So if you have any errors, leave me a comment in any of my videos. I'll be so glad to help you guys. I'll try to answer as soon as I can. Please try it, it's really good. I want you to be the best. Thank you guys and see you next lecture.